before we start this episode. This podcast is sponsored by Fiener's Freshest. All your vintage needs from hats to beanies to pullovers to windbreakers to vintage shirts to sneakers as well as refurbishing if you got any old shoes or you got any old hats. He also provides those services as well. Fiener's Freshest. Check them out. This podcast is also sponsored by Emperor Supply Co. If you're looking for a premium pomade, they got you. If you're looking for some beard oil, they got you. They also got merch, so go check them out. Uh, they're all out of the IE, where I'm from. Men, get right, go check out the page. Ladies, get your men right, go check out the page. Emperor Supply Co. Enjoy the episode. All right, my shit's a little high. So am I. <sighs> That's right, off the record. All right, ready? Three, two, one. And we're live. Welcome to another episode of Daniel's Best Podcast. Um, I am your host, Rob Vega, a.k.a. Robbery, a.k.a. Dad. Before we continue, can you guys please like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends? We'd all really appreciate it. Back to the show. We got a first timer in here. We got the guy who introduced me to Acid. Uh, we got the guy who used to be our uh, childhood goalie, high school goalie. Um... And uh, we got our 6'2 Mexican in the house. <laughs> we got uh, Brandon up in here. Everybody say what's up. Everybody uh, wave. Give him a warm welcome. You know what I mean? We don't have an audience today, but... Felt it, man. Appreciate the introduction. Yeah, I do. Like sure. My name is Brandon. And uh, it's a little, you know, long overdue, but it's uh, good to actually finally make this happen. Yep, yep. Yeah, we, we we've uh, kind of have a long history with each other. Um... And uh, there was talks of having you on um, before, and uh, so like I, I mean I, that was one of my I mean one of my questions was uh, so prior to us doing it, I think you didn't want to do it, and then uh, I think yesterday you hit me up and you're like, "Yo, let's do it," and I'm like, "I'm down. I've always been down. You know what I mean?" And then uh, and we're here. So uh, between then and now, like, what made you change your mind, and then why didn't you in the beginning? Well, the thing is, uh, we had to reschedule twice. Right? I remember the first time was um, okay, yeah, the Super Bowl time, uh, Super Bowl party. We just had having a good time. Next thing you know, like you got really late. Oh, so, that's right. Yeah, the second time coming around. Damn, I feel bad about that now. No, that's cool. <laughs> but, you know, was, I had a good ass time though. So, oh hell fine. yeah, hell yeah. And um, the second time, yeah, I was just kind of going through stuff, and I was like, you know what? Like, I don't want to hop on the mic right now and just you know, just talk about stuff. When I could just be working on it, so got it. Yeah. Whereas now I feel like I'm in a different place now, and it's like you know what, some man, I haven't talked to you in a while, so like you're almost past those hardships or whatever, right? And yeah. Like okay, I get that. No, for sure, for sure. I mean, because like on the flip side to it, all that stuff, like you know, I'm concerned as a friend. You know what I mean? And uh, but it seems like you, like you said, you're back on. Like you're over that shit. You're a different person. You know who you are and stuff like that. So that's what's up. Yeah. Um, I wanted to start our episode with like two significant stories of like shit that we've been through. Um, the first one was the acid trip. I was in a crazy place and uh, in Hemet when I was living in Hemet. And I was like really just open to whatever, you know, because I was like chronically depressed in my opinion. And uh, just I didn't really know what I was doing or what to do, right? Like I thought, you know, I, I'd buy a house, right? And I'd live in it and I'd be happy and I wasn't, you know what I mean? And on top of that, not, not only was I using that house as, a, as my main source of happiness or what I thought it would be, um, I was also dealing with living alone. And uh, that takes a lot of adjustment, you know what I mean? P- because growing up, um, my parents have never in their lives like been on their own, like living alone by themselves. You know what I mean? They've always been around people. And so I was kind of uh, dealing with that. And for me, I, it was hard, you know, it was hard for me to deal with and stuff. And then um, um, so I had you. So so one time you came over and uh, you're like, yo, check that. You, oh, no, no way. I'm going to tell the story. So you <laughs> so you told me yeah, you, were like, you, you're like, you're like, you're like. Yo, I got a surprise for you. Make sure you're, the next day is all cleared up. You're not doing anything. I think it was on a Friday because I was like, dude, on Saturday, next ne- the next day, Saturday, I'm not doing shit. He's like, all right, for sure. He's like, yeah, because you're going to not want to do anything the next day and shit. I was like, all right, cool. And uh, so you showed up and uh, you showed up with two camelbacks and you're like, yo, if you want, I'm going to give you two choices. If you want the blue one, 
you're like, you know, we could just go on a hike, have a good time, you know, whatever, normal hike. If you choose the orange one, you know, I'm going to uh, open up your eyes to this new perspective of life. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Something along those lines. Something like that, you know, right? I just watched The Matrix. So. Yeah, okay, is that, is that what happened Basically. at the time? Oh, okay, yeah. hell yeah. So then, uh, I mean, it was. I mean, it's a dramatic for a real story, so I don't, <laughs> that was pretty sick. I just uh, wanted to push you outside your comfort zone, and I knew you something inside you would choose the color blue so you know i wanted to see if you know you were willing to check something out yeah but how did you uh did you learn something from it or how did you feel after? um like i would so i've never tried anything like that right and so like it was honestly the beginning it, i would say that was like the beginning of like me changing my life um so i would say like right after that like i i'm pretty sure right around there is when like i started doubling down on trying to change my situation you know and so i was looking th to a lot of mentors on youtube and uh i was watching him before that but like after the acid trip, I started to actually try to implement the things that they were kind of saying, you know, because I don't know, I, I almost had like this like silver lining, like, yo, this you have an opportunity to get the fuck out of this out of this, you know, like you like you you have the tools in front of you, like you can make it work. And so it's funny because I never thought of it that way until you just asked me. But things did progressively change after that you know what i mean so thank you for that you know yeah, what i mean yeah, i'm glad because after that i i mean yeah there was a large it wasn't a it wasn't a huge phase but i started experimenting more you know shrooms and and acid and i think for somebody like me it wasn't to escape i was actually looking for answers in my opinion that's what i thought absolutely right and so um and it, I, I felt like I found them, you know, in my own way and in my own crazy bad trips, too, you know, like I would come out of it and I'm just like, dude, there's like this is a gift, you know, that you're breathing every day. You're here every day, you know. And then on top of that, too, um, I didn't always trip when I mean that I mean on shrooms or acid with other people like I didn't always trip with the greatest people um but the people i did trip with it actually did enhance and kind of change my my way of thinking and you know maybe parts of my life too um on, lately i've been wanting to dabble into some shrooms again i haven't in a while i did when i went to coachella but it's nothing crazy um been wanting to do some more though i feel like it's been calling my name you know what i'm saying so that was one and Wait, then, just real quick, uh, disclaimer. Yeah, I haven't. That was uh, right after college, too. Yeah, that was a while and back. Also, like, I feel like uh, since we're on that topic, like, I think that's something that uh, should really be used cautiously and yes. shouldn't be abused. You know, you should have like a level of respect for it. Like me myself, I haven't done it in a while just because I already know what I need to do. You know, so mm -hmm. I feel like. No, yeah, for yeah, sure. I'm glad. I'm gl I'm glad you you did bring that up because you're right. Like it, it should be respected, and and that's the thing. Um, that's the thing. How I feel about it in the sense of like, for me, there was a time where I'm like, okay, dude, I'm done. You know, but but you know, it's that thing where like it's a little reset. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's why I'm saying like I respect it in the sense of like uh, like when it calls you. You know, it's a trip. Like uh, there is this kind of like unspoken thing about you know psychedelics as far as like. You know, not try like. I'm not really trying to. I don't. I don't even. No, uh, I get what you're trying to say because um, one of my good buddies, uh, David, uh, I was a uh, part of his groomsmen trip. Was, oh, okay. And uh, I'm trying to figure out how to word this. So we ended up uh, going to Guanajuato, Mexico, mm -hmm. for uh, his bachelor's party, mm -hmm. and we ended up doing like a really cool trip. Like it was like a very really cultural one, and we ended up checking out like these pyramids out there. And um, it was actually really interesting, like, hearing what the archaeologists had to say about the site. Because something that really stood out to me was um, how the temple, or, like, uh, the highest priest, right? Like, the main guy there, they would find, like, traces of, like, psychedelics in his room. Like, oh, shit. Like, psychedelic seeds and whatnot. So, it's kind of interesting, you know? And mm -hmm. apparently, like, those things were only allowed for them. Like, the common person could have used them. Mm. And it's kind of crazy also seeing how, like, in today's, you know, society that we live in. Yeah. But, uh, you know, still the same way, essentially. 
I mean, you don't like think... it's basically a schedule one, you know. But right. like, but you don't think people, normal people, have access to it? Or are you just saying it's not legal? I wonder like the, why it's not. You know, got it, yeah. got it. I mean, they're working on it, right? Yeah, I know it is, but it's interesting. I know what you it's mean. A, you know, a, for a long yeah. time, it wasn't right. Yeah, because I know for a lot of people, it's going to be like a oh whoa, you know, kind of yeah. conversation, especially if they haven't, you know, tried it. Because I mean, the word itself is pretty strong. Mm-hmm. You know, acid. You know, like oh fuck. You know, right, so, right, right. It's a hard kind of name because, mm-hmm. but. It's, I see it more as like LSD, you know, like right, right, yeah. yeah. I more mean, like, the, it's because you understand it, you know what yeah. I mean. So you don't really see it like that, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so that was that was uh, that's the story with the first psychedelic trip. You know, I appreciate that. You sure, know, um, I know we were listening to fucking uh, Pink Floyd. Uh, Pink Floyd. Okay, Pink so Floyd. check. Okay, so here's this weird, interesting thing about Pink Floyd on psychedelics, right? So. Um, we we listened to Pink Floyd. I remember you forced me to like look. Let's go. Let's go in the house because we went hiking. And then oh, we heard like gunshots or something, dude. I remember. It was I remember wild, that. I remember right? that. Yeah, it was kind like, of. Sketch. I was like, yo, those sound pretty close. You know, like are they shooting at us or what's up? You know. <laughs> I, yeah, that was, it get kind. It gets kind of murky, you know, when you're. Good times. Yeah. You know, I mean, good times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So like it was funny because uh, one of my most more significant. Uh, psychedelic trips on shrooms was at my house when I lived in Marietta and I was with one of my friends and I took too much and we were watching this planet uh, video and it's Alex Baldwin Alex is that who his name uh, he's like an actor I don't know I'm bad with names bro so I'm gonna throw his picture up here oh Alec fucking something i forget his name but i'll I'll throw his pick yeah this this guy guy. he created this video this psychedelic video it's about the planets and it's very like kind of like video game kind of looking and it's just very just like random and shit and it's like the entire album of pink floyd and uh yeah yeah, and so like throughout that trip like it probably paid it is probably like an hour long and it played or an hour it's an hour and 30 minutes long and played like three or four times while I was going through this insane, like, uh, mushroom trip and, like, honestly, really just trying to wait even for it to go away because it was just, like, too much. You know what I mean? But uh, but it's funny how, you know, it, it, it's like that might have been, I think, the last time I tripped on shrooms and then the first time I tripped was with you and I was listening to this. So it was just a trip how that shit worked out. But Literally. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about this. I mean, well, look, and then one time – after that, we ran into each other. You were walking your dog by your house, and I was, like, driving in Elsinore, and I was driving, like, down. I don't even know what road. We were talking. We were catching up. Uh, it, and it seemed like a, like an actual, like, friend catch-up. Like, we were just talking yeah, about. Yeah, like, oh, something. I haven't seen a cool minute. Yeah, yeah. and then, uh, but the thing that was weird is, like, you know, I was like, dude, I, this is what I said. I was like, dude, it's weird that I ran into you today. I don't know, like. Like something about today it was just interesting, and you're like, "Well, it's the Virgin Mary's birthday," and I was like, "Oh, that's kind of weird too, right?" So I just thought that was interesting. Dapped you up, said I'll see you later, and then drove like down the street. Literally a minute later at the intersection, I like totaled my truck. I don't really know what that means, but I mean, it was pretty significant. You know what I'm saying? Like it was so weird how that happened, but. Um. Yeah, those were like the two. One of the two, like, and at the same time, like you said, like before we jumped on, there's always just been this like weird, like you know, connection and like you know, we 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 uh, we check in here and there and stuff like that. But I think this since the last time we've seen each other or talked, I just think like we've both just been like just trying to live that life, figure shit out, right? Set up. But it's crazy because um it's you you have some some sort of connection even with like my youtube stuff because um even like in the beginning of uh even in the beginning that when i started vlogging like you were there for some of those earlier ones i think you were in like one or two and uh and that was an interesting time because like i said i mean that was the time i did as for first time first time i started trying to vlog and stuff like that but I think the thing about you, though, was that you're somebody who was, like, willing to try different shit, right? Who was trying to figure out life like that. So, or- I remember I had just graduated from uh, UCSD, and uh, I'd moved back home because I was trying to find a job, right? Yeah. And in the meantime, I was living with my parents, and I remember going out somewhere, and someone mentioned, like, hey, like, fucking Robert, you know, that fool's making moves, too, you know, that fool just 
fucking he owns two homes like oh hell yeah that's sick as you know fuck dude like Mm -hmm. was young out here owning property you know good for him yeah yeah and i was like you know i want to own some property too you know like this was out here already making these moves like maybe Mm -hmm. i could learn to think it too from him you know and uh and i think that's an important thing about finding like good friendships too or like good acquaintances Mm -hmm. or just be surrounded by you know people wanting to better themselves because yeah you kind of do reflect your circle in a sense. No, you know, for sure. No, and I, I completely 100% agree with you on that. But see, and that's the thing. Like, I think when we were hanging out at that time, um, I was looking for people who were just like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, what's the word? Like, that or, or encouraging or people who are just... We inspire each other, basically. Yeah, like, I would say that for sure. Because, I mean, like I said, that was around the time I tried the asset for the first time. And I think... Um, I was also encouraged and inspired to start vlogging. I had been wanting to. We talked about it. I think you're saying you should just do it. And I, I just started it. Yeah, you man, know? I remember you'd always say like, "Hey, man, I I think about this. I'm thinking about this. I'm like, not nah, just stop thinking about it." Yeah, yeah. And I'm actually I'm hella proud of you, dude. Let me up real quick, hey, dude. Man, I you know, you're that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We're out here now, you know. Fuck yeah, man. and we then, would like talk about this. Like, we I remember we actually used to go to the gym. Yeah, and then we yeah. fucking just have these kind of conversations and like. You'd be like, yeah, man, I want to start a podcast. I want to start a podcast. And you'd say it every time. And I was like, dude, just fucking start that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Fucking, yeah, here we right? are. Here we yeah. are. Oh, yeah. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Manifested it, you know? Yeah, definitely. And um, uh, I guess also like kind of building on like what we've been talking about. Like like I I was like also like depressed at one point in my life too, you know? So that's when mm-hmm. I feel like I was willing to try like a lot of stuff. And, you know, I'm happy that I was surrounded by good people because like they influenced me with good good uh values good tools and Mm -hmm. just ways in which i can just handle life yeah and i just i feel independent essentially i feel that yeah i i can do this yeah no for sure no definitely no matter what it is like i mean and that was the thing like off air we were talking how you were telling me that like i inspired you to kind of get on your shit and we'll talk about a little bit about like what you've i mean we could talk about it right now too just because like like uh basically uh, i was saying barbara before this like yeah, I remember hearing about you having two homes, like, really resonated with me because mm-hmm. I was, like, I had just graduated from UCSD and, like, basically, like, my last year in college, like, I was, like, super tight on money, especially, like, financial aid to the point where, like, I was living in my car, mm-hmm. you know? So, you know, going from, like, living in your car and, like, you have, like, this, you know, friend that you grew up with, you know, mm-hmm. like, having two homes, like, hey, this guy might have some answers that mm-hmm. could, you know, help me leverage myself forward you know yeah yeah i don't want to be in this position right right right? and not that i was anymore because i just graduated and got back home and it's like you know i felt good giving my mom the diploma you know it's like right 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 for you you know yeah exactly exactly thank you for all the sacrifices you've done for me you know like right right exactly when i was going through that shit too i remember just sleeping in my car cold as fuck you know and uh Sorry, it's fucking my voice still kind of like yeah, yeah chops yeah. up because you know I'm kind of reliving it too, and it's like you right. know it was uh, interesting because when I was going through that shit, like I didn't tell anybody. I was like, this is yeah, my I didn't problem. even I didn't know that until yeah. you just told me right now. You know, off so, air. so to me, it was like you know what, this is my challenge. You know, I was like my parents literally moved from Mexico here. You know, they left everything. They left their language, their family, everything they grew up with. You mm-hmm. know, for what for me to have a better life. So it's like you know what, like. Am I really just going to quit now, you know, and I just have, like, a few more classes to take? Right. You know, right, like, hell no. Like, I saw myself as a scientist. I saw myself walking on that stage. I was like, there's yeah. no way I'm leaving this campus right, without right. a fucking diploma. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, fuck it. There's a gym here. I could shower there, you know? And I was like, you know what? I'm already here. Might as well get a little workout in, too. So, yeah, like, yeah. believe it or not, those are actually really, like, beautiful times, man. Like, mm-hmm. I learned so much about myself. You know, it was, like, like I just feel you're... like nothing can stop me at this point yeah you know, like i was yeah. able to get through that and it's like you know what let's get it yeah you know? no and 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 i wanted and that's what i wanted to touch on like what's crazy is like you know my parents like guided me you know in the situations i'm in you know and like they helped me set set me up you know i did all the work you know they're like look baby you, you did the work though right but I here's heard. but here's the thing though like on top of that you know like i said you know my parents are like what from what they do you know they have a good knowledge of about about like what you know about homes and shit like that you know and so 
That's why I just think it's crazy how, like, you figured all that shit out. You did the same exact thing. I mean, I don't know if you want to, if that, well, can, yeah, I, can, like, I, can I mention yeah, I, about their homes? Yeah. So, I mean, because you, you know, you bought a property in Mexico, you brought a house for your parents, and, like, that's what I mean. Like, it's crazy that, you know, you just went out and, you know, you, you did that shit. You know, you hustled it out and you thugged it out because, you know, when you were, like, homeless and stuff, too, but... I just think I, I don't even think I can compare myself to you, bro, because you did that shit on your own, you know. So, like, you know, props to you on that. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, also appreciate you for you know sharing your knowledge with me too. You know? Yeah, for like, sure. I'm bro. literally in your fucking house right now. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Full circle and shit out yeah, here. You know what I mean? So that's what's up, bro. You know, I'm glad that you know everything worked out for you, and yeah. I'm glad that you're still striving, you're still pursuing shit. Yeah, you know? I just you know never lost faith. That's really what it is. You know? Yeah, for just sure. Like, you know, well, I'm gonna get through this. I had a goal got it you know it's like right, yeah. What's next? I, yeah you were mentioning we were talking about when um like when you were homeless and then you were going to uh you're going to shower at the gym but then you're like might as well work out um you're talking about like a like a some issues with weight um so what i think we kind of touched on that but we didn't really get too into it but i was curious to know what you had to say about that because you were kind of at a point where you started to take responsibility and ownership for some of the things that you're having issues with well it got to the point where i thought it's like you know what no one's gonna care about me as much as i care about myself yeah and um <clears throat> i ended up majoring in biochemistry and cell biology and i only bring that up because one of my favorite courses that you know i took was this nutrition biochemistry course and i learned a lot from that course and that was when i was going through those stages of my life mm -hmm. so i was like you know what it'd be kind of foolish of me to not implement this into my own personal life mm -hmm. so i feel like i guess my knowledge in school kind of translated into my personal life mm -hmm. and like just basically just wanted to do better you know it's like yeah. you know what i'm in this position right now like no one's gonna get me out of this but me mm -hmm. i gotta want it yeah and the cool thing about that is like when you put in the work like people who have put in the work notice that Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, and then, yeah. Like, they can spot it. They spot it, and mm -hmm. they, they're the ones that, you know, kind of gravitate take towards you. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yo, what's up, my dude? Like, what's, what's going on? Or, like, you just, you know, yeah. build a network, I guess you could say. Right, right. You know? No, exactly. Gotta meet, like, like-minded individuals that actually want to do stuff with their life. Right, right. You know, because, like, shit gets boring after a while. No, yeah, you for know? sure. I mean, you know, the same, I I mean, at least for us, you yeah. know, the same old party bullshit gets boring after a while. Just I mean. any, anything that's, like repetitive just for me gets boring it's like yeah i feel like at least the older i get the more i realize how i work so mm -hmm. i just i like keeping myself busy with like kind of healthier habits right like, right like i like learning new things like i'm a very hands-on person like mm -hmm. like the other day i remember one time like during covid right i was drinking a beer and i was like what the fuck is this beer matter of you know mm -hmm. i looked it up and i was like yo this sounds pretty easy I bought the stuff and then ended up brewing my own beer you know like oh, oh, nice yeah. you know so i can chug that yeah i can just i mean and at the same time dude it's weird like i heard somebody talk like uh okay so i ran into this guy you know at work and it's on some like you know like some coincidental shit it was like an emergency job i was supposed to go to i don't really i don't even have the right certifications to be working at this job but they needed someone so i went and I was talking to this guy, and uh, it was interesting because he was talking about, like, it sounds kind of weird. And I've been thinking about making, like, a stand-up bit for it because I kind of want to do stand-up eventually. And it was talk I, it was about recreational binging. So it's like a recreational drug addict, technically. You know what I'm saying? And, like, because that's kind of, like, explains my usage with drugs. Like, once in a great while, I'll kind of binge, and then I'll just stop. You know what I mean? And to me, you know... I wonder, is that bad? Is that good? You know, and I think it's just self awareness. You know, like it just realizing, yeah. like right, no, like and whatnot. exactly, and that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like it's kind of like I and that takes you far away, though. You What's, know, like that self awareness, like actually knowing who you are and being truth with yourself. Because mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's a lot of people out there that just kind of like really fake it. Kind of, you know. Oh no, for so sure. It's like, it's oh fine. yeah. There's, there's nothing oh, yeah, wrong with bro. it, you know. But just kind of like yo, just like chill, you know. Like yeah, I mean, look, it, like from from an interview that. It's like there's a lot of fakers out there, right? But it can't all be bad, you know what I oh, mean? No. It's like it's like they gotta they have to get something from it, right? I mean, I know a lot of guys use that 
spiritual self shit to get chicks. You know what I mean? Chicks do it so because they need some structure. Who knows, right? The ones that don't do it for the right shit. You know what I'm saying? But you're right. I, I agree. Um, not a lot of people are really on. I'd say most people aren't. And it's fine. You know, I just, you know, I wasn't always on it too. Yeah, know? yeah, for sure. So it's just a matter of, you know. Getting there. Getting there. Yeah. Learning yeah, it. For you know? sure, I yeah. Like I hope everybody gets there, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. A lot dope over here, you know. I, I agree. I mean, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, dude, it takes work though, you it know. Does. Most people, people don't want to do, do it. That's what I'm yeah. trying to tell you, bro. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it's like, y'all could be us. No, I'm just kidding. We ain't shit. You know what I mean? But look, dude, back to the story. So that I met this guy, right? And he goes, um, and he was kind of like me. Like I said, he did like the recreational shit. And like, he was giving me like some insight on my own life. But one thing that he was saying was like, you know, like, um, you know, like when I don't want to do things that are important, like I do them because like, you know, God's going to make the rest, like work the rest out for me. You know what I mean? But I got to keep making those forward movements, you know, that the progressive movement. And he was saying, um, one of the things is like, you know, cause he's like, I actually went to like AA and shit like that. And like, he said that he leads like his church in like recovering addicts, even though he technically wasn't really one, but he has like this, um, like while he was while he was build, building a curriculum for that, he was just saying, like, like he's realizing, like, it's important to just, like, dip into everything, you know, dip into some history, even though you don't like it, because you're an adult and you kind of want to connect with someone who maybe may want to talk about history one day or brewing a beer or, like, a beer enthusiast. Like, it's just, yeah. like, it's yeah. o- it's almost like... And we have these, you know? Like, yeah. literally, if you're just curious about something, you just literally Google it. Exactly. And just like, oh, for sure, you know? Exactly. And then, you know, instead of just pondering, wandering, you know? Yeah, like, you exactly. Know, you have so much access. We have literally a computer mm-hmm. in our hands. Hands yeah, at all times. and at the same time, like I understand, he's saying like it's it's you know do it because it's important to be like a put together human. But at the end of the day, like I think the most important thing is like to be able to connect with other humans. Absolutely. So if you can, right? Yeah. So if you can like really get yourself well rounded in everything and anything, just be, and then also even just making it into a habit, like you know what, fuck it, like almost being like a yes man. You know what I mean? I just think that like. You're going to be better off because you just kind of know a little bit about everything. And sometimes that knowledge will just like, um, it will come when you need it, you know? Yeah. And sometimes you can just pay attention by the way people speak. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole like, oh, I'm thinking about doing this or I'm going to do this. Right. You know, like that's a big change in mindset too. Right. Yeah, exactly. No, absolutely. Yeah, Yeah, for sure. And uh, so, no, I think you're right. I think... Um, like, I'm not saying, like, I'm some fucking shit, you know? I'm just, yeah, like, yeah, out yeah. here just trying to figure shit out still, too, you know? Right, right. And all right. I know is just, like, I fuck with me, so I'm going to do me kind of shit mm-hmm. for now and just see what work works for me. And, you know, I feel that alone pulls people in, like, oh, that looks pretty cool. Or if not, sometimes people who are doing what they want to do inspire me to do what they're doing or make me want to do something that I was already working on that but I haven't been working on for a while to get back on that. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. just a matter of just just doing it. No, yeah, yeah, for sure. I agree. I agree with you. Um I mean people already know what they need to do. Yeah, I agree. It just I think so. the work. You can do the work, you know. That's all do it. the work. But that's the thing though, like I mean, you know, that plus trauma plus stress plus everything. But that's yeah. what separates everybody though. You yeah. know what I mean? Because like we all have that shit, you know what I mean? Some people worse than others, and Absolutely. Even, you know. And so I just think like, hey, but you, you're not alone. That too, you know. Yeah. Okay, and remember that you're not alone. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. You know, and if you need help, just reach out. Yeah. You already know who to reach out to. Yeah, I, I and, agree. You know, you can also reach out to me. You know. Yep. Yeah. Just saying. I put I put his Instagram in the beginning of the episode, so follow him you know what i mean hit me up too i mean dude i get people who hit me up all the time like i don't even know if do you even have twitter anymore uh i've just kind of recently got back on it yeah Yeah. okay that's what's up yeah do i do we follow each other yeah 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 okay for sure yeah Yeah, i just kind of like that's what i'm saying i I feel like you you're not really on there right uh it's just because if i'm on there i'm gonna be on there for a cool minute so yeah yeah. i try to like uh, try to get back into this and that's what i'm saying i wasn't sure but like i mean uh I was just gonna say like um, it was like a Twitter story, but I have people who hit me up, you know, constantly, you know, whether it's feedback or like you know help or whatever. My biggest thing that I love that I like like giving advice for was like 
relationship advice like that was my shit you know what i mean i still kind of i still kind of like it i still kind of into it you know what i mean but like you know we get we get life advice over here too you know what i mean so i mean it is part of life you know relationships so i mean that's a big part of life yeah. right i mean fuck. it's a really big part especially like being able to communicate and whatnot so yeah no definitely def i mean i got a couple couples that have been like hitting me up so they could come on they, they, they're gonna do a therapy session probably you know what i mean that's gonna be interesting i haven't had that yet but that should be interesting you know what i mean so that'd be that cool should be really interesting man right <laughs> yeah. right i was gonna say um um speaking of that uh how's how's the love life how's that going well first of all i mean look the last one of the last posts that i seen you post was i mean you know your your stroll uh with an amazing view of petco park right Uh, my neighbors right yeah literally you can see them from your your building right from like my room that's what's up that's wild and so like I mean, you know, you've been a little MIA, and which is in the work, and man. that's and that's what I was saying. Like, you know, you've been a little MIA, and then when I seen you, you know, make the move, you moved in with some roommates, right? Yeah, I have uh, one roommate right now. Oh like, shit, he's my little from my fraternity. His name's Aaron. Shout out, my boy. Hell yeah, that's yeah, what's up. Shout out. Just uh, actually, yeah, shout out to also my other little Georgie. Okay. Yeah, those two were the ones that really, you know, when I was going dressed up in college, like I said, I didn't mention anything to anybody. But they were the ones that were checking in on me, and they were the ones that were able to catch it. You know, I couldn't bullshit them. Right. And they were like, yo, right. we have a couch. Like, what are you doing, stupid? You know? And I was right. like, you're right, you know? That's tough, And it's just crazy, though, because, like, okay, so, like, when that happened, right, I was like, all right, fuck yeah, you know? Like, it's fucking warm in here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, dude. And, like, uh, so I was like, fuck yeah, like, I can study now peacefully. And, like, I remember at that time, the class I was, I was studying for was my upper division immunology course, mm-hmm. which is, like, a, for, like, my biochem degree. Mm-hmm. And what degree? Biochemistry. Oh, bio- okay, I got it. And um, it was interesting because that's the class that helped me get my job. Right. And it's like crazy to me because it's like how like things kind of worked out. Right, right, yeah, right. Because uh, like during COVID, uh, I ended up being like part of like the first teams like kind of test for like COVID. I was part of like the pre-analytics and the post-analytics. Mm-hmm. And uh, it taught me a lot of like stuff like it's interesting like to the point where i even switched careers oh shit like literally like i like seeing how like people would like handle covid or whatnot and like ask me like oh you think it's real like no they basically say like it's fake you know and like here i am going to work like exposing my okay so this is like hey, for yourself in the perspective of like when shit first started happening right yeah when like when no one knew shit about shit right 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 yeah right like i'm not gonna get like too deep into this you know? i know what you mean but, yeah like, so i remember uh i was like damn like uh, you're risking your life for this shit you know like literally because you're because you're handling blood samples for, for like all the nasers the nasal swabs i was like doing the oh, okay. i wasn't doing the actual pcr test like i said i was doing the pre and the post analytics mm-hmm. but um yeah it was just kind of like but i was still handling the samples like i still had the samples in my hand you know it's yeah, like, yeah yeah like people would tell me that i'm like yo like what are you talking about i have this literally in my hand like <laughs> right and back then you know like how contagious it was and it was like i was living at home you know and i was like you know what like right. here i am risking like you know even my own family like bringing this home so like i remember i would just walk my the thing about like uh when i was like living at my parents pad is like um my room had like a sliding door that had access to the backyard mm-hmm. so then i would just go through and uh, to my car through the backyard and just go into my room mm. through the backyard. I wouldn't even have like contact with my parents because I didn't want to like expose them. You know, like, yeah. I didn't know what's going on. You know, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, so like, I was just kind of like, man, like, man, I fuck this shit. You and know? that like, kind of made you switch careers a little bit. Yeah, nice. Because like, essentially, like, uh, the job I was at, they were they kind of did me a little dirty, mm-hmm. high key. You know, yeah. But like, I'm not even gonna get into that just because like I don't know like fucking contracts and whatnot. Yeah, so, yeah uh yeah and i was just kind of like you know what like i put in all this work it's like not appreciated mm-hmm. you know like i feel like i you know stepped up to the plate when fucking covid like shit happened you know like, right right and i was like uh you know what i'm gonna go take my skill set somewhere else and right. i just ended up working out you know like i remember uh my roommate in college named fabio uh i was telling him my situation at work and he was like you know come work with us and i was like i mean what do you guys even do you know <laughs> and i was like oh for sure you know like <laughs> yeah the net net the like best places to network and shit i'm in college yeah absolutely yeah it's crazy i got what's crazy about that guy's like literally the first dude i met in college too 
Like, mm-hmm. He was like uh, in my orientation group. Yeah. You're saying that he uh, he told you to just go work for them, yeah? Yeah, he's basically he was like, yo, why don't you come work with us? You know, we're hiring right now. And uh, he told me about the job and like the perks it had. And I was like, you know what? It sounds a lot better. Because basically I was already, the I kind of got burnt out a little bit from like the other shit other stuff i feel like i already did my part in the medical field went on you know like i already handled like a pandemic essentially you know right so i was like you know what i'm gonna try something else and uh i'm kind of glad i took that risk because like i said uh i actually don't know if i already brought this up or not but uh they were paying for me to go to school also like uh essentially uh oh that last job yeah my last job right before i switched jobs they were actually paying for me to get my uh license to right. become a specialist yeah and uh but i was like just over it and i was like you know what like this job over here is already gonna pay more and i was already over the smell of the chemicals jesus that's what i was over you know even if you have a mask on you can smell the chemicals wow because like i said i did the post uh analytics Uh, after the run like i like also like kind of like take care of the machines like dispose of the waste Mm -hmm. and like it was like um like that pcr waste like that smells disgusting Mm -hmm. man yeah like it's like such a foul smell that like yeah, I was just, I was just over it. I was like, you know what, like, you know what, I just want to experience like being outside. You know, yeah, like, and that's yeah. one thing about my job is like I work remotely, so wherever there's Wi-Fi, just post up, do some work. You're saying now? Now, yeah. Nice. So you work from home? Yeah. And how do you like that? It's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I just <laughs> wear like it, just some shorts and just like a nice little polo, you know, just kick it, put the camera on, like what's up? Just, oh, nice. Yeah, just, yeah, With some boxers nice. and a collar or what? Key, you know, yeah, that's yeah. hard, bro. Hell yeah. Just gotta make sure you don't stand up, you know. Just, just, just drop the camera <laughs> I know, bit, right? Yeah. Just like no bottoms. <laughs> just what? Oh shit! Like dude. I didn't just wake up, you know? Now nah. just teabag the camera real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> introduce myself no. that's sick dude so that's basically what you've been up to this whole time yeah i mean kind of doing that transition and just, then you had to go just take around a lot of stuff out you know there's a lot mm-hmm. of like okay am i doing this because i want to do it or because i'm doing it for someone else you know like, right and there's a lot of just uh just going after things that i want right now mm-hmm. that's really what it is like you asked me like my relationship status i'm single right now and um it's interesting I, because I know you mentioned this a lot, too, how you're like, oh, oh, we've talked about this before, essentially, and it's like, basically, like, I think I might just be single for a while, just because, like, not just saying, like, I'm not opposed to a relationship, but just, like, I feel like there's a lot I want to do right now, and that's, like, my focus, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. And, yeah. I feel it. Nice. Yeah, that's yeah. good, bro. I mean, that's, I mean, the only reason why I asked is because, you know when you start posting like progression in life you get a little bit more options you know what i'm saying but um but that's good dude i'm glad that you kind of that's what you want in life you just want to have options in general that's really what it's about yeah you just want to have that leverage to be like okay this is what i want yeah as opposed to like oh shit it's the only thing i can do and it's fine if it's the only thing you can do you like do it right with something else in mind you know like no for sure i mean and that's and yeah i started off working like at the swami you know like when i was yeah. like three years old kind of stuff you know just progressively getting in their job and their job just right learning right. new tools and just applying those tools into my life and then okay you already have these tools to sharpen them up like yeah yeah let's go after it you know like, like you said like i said like me personally i already know what i need to do so it's just like every moment i'm not doing it i feel like someone else is doing it more than me so right like, right yeah do you think that has anything to do with the fact that like you were an immigrant yeah like that that hustle right that, that hustle. drive yeah because i didn't get like my citizenship till i was like basically what seventh grade no sixth grade mm-hmm. so that's kind of interesting because um I've, i just appreciate my mom you know just always being open with me just being real with me she didn't like try to sugarcoat stuff so it's mm-hmm. like fuck yeah that's yeah. what i was gonna ask next like as far as your upbringing like uh you know how were your parents were they conservative were they like very like we kind of want you to pick from like these two careers only or some shit you know what i mean like uh yeah how was that how was that like uh i know my mom she told me once like i want you to be someone in life for mm-hmm. sure i remember being a kid and it didn't matter what it was it didn't matter okay she just yeah just wanted me basically just also be happy yeah yeah because that's what like when i was in college like you know going after my degree i didn't really have many mentors to look up to mm-hmm. like people who already went through college right to talk right. to yeah and um it was just a big learning experience mm-hmm yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy, bro. That's that's what's up, dude. I'm I'm proud of you. I just wanted to say if nobody ever told you, I'm proud of you, dude. I appreciate my guy. Yeah, bro. And um 
Yeah, bro. I mean, it's just nice to see, you know, because it was... When did you move out there? A couple weeks ago, yeah? Uh, to SD? Or where? Uh, to San Diego. Yeah, I moved to San Diego in March. March 9th. Okay, yeah. So, kind of recent. And yeah. since I've seen that, I mean, it looks like you're it's having beautiful. a great time over yeah. there. What's what's the life out there like? The bachelor life, you know, chose me. You know? so, oh, you know, okay, kidding, but, okay. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but I just... It's beautiful being able to work from home. And just uh, what I like about my little setup is... um. I could also see the Coronado Bridge. Mm -hmm. So, like, while I'm working, Damn. I could just, like, you know, distress and just, like, look, like, to the ocean real quick. Just yeah, like, yeah. To it and just, like, all right, let's get back to this, you know, like. Right. This is, right. like, we, this is why, like, I work hard for, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. little perks. And, yeah, uh, no, for sure. For and then sure. just even, like, my I know my dog loves it, too, because, like, yeah. San Diego's, like, super dog friendly, so. Yeah. I bought her, like, a little Padre shirt and I walk her around, like, the Petco Park and, like, she, Hell just, yeah. she just eats up the attention. Native, native life you know? in San Diego. That's yeah. sick. How long do you think you're going to stay out there? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't yeah. know where to, where to go after San Diego, though, to tell you the truth. You, you know? just, you know, just, you like, see where the wind blows? <laughs> like, the thing about, like, my apartment right now, like, I live right in next to the trolley station. Mm -hmm. And the trolley takes you straight to TJ. Oh shit! Yeah, 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 and it brings you back. So kind of like, perfect, you know. Like, kind of perfect, bro. Yeah, I just went to Guadalajara uh, from one of my buddies' uh, wedding. Yeah, same thing. Took the trolley to the airport, you know, just Damn. took it back, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of perks, and even then, like I went to EDC, and like the airport's like ten minutes away. Nice. Just got an Uber real quick. Fucking let's go. I got Crazy. both airports, you know. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, I feel like uh, there's a lot of perks to it, but at the same time. Mm -hmm. like, so i gotta it's like this is why i work hard you know right right yeah. do you get anybody like hitting you up like yo how'd you do all that or like you know can you get me in do you get shit like that um kind of mm -hmm. it's weird i gave mixed responses you know mm -hmm. i gave people like oh like that are really proud of me and i also get like kind of like backhanded comments so oh, so okay, it's kind of yeah. like i could care less like you know, right, like, I'm, right i'm right. doing this because i want to yeah, do it yeah for you yeah so it's like that's what's yeah. up. Nice. Because, like, I was going to ask, like, I mean, from the haters, like, how do you deal with it? But, I mean. You like, I mean, they're watching the show. Things. You tell me. How you like the show? <laughs> no, not all of y'all, but, you know. Yeah, I feel hey, it. I feel yeah, it. Yeah. That's but, cool, bro. You know who you are. Right, yeah. right, right. I feel it, bro. I feel it. That's what's up. What are, um, what's, like, uh, what are, like, some of the healthy rituals on your, in your, that, that are implemented in your daily life? That's a, that's an awesome question. I had to think about that. Uh, for sure. Um, like, I can start. Like, for me, in the morning, right when I get up, say my prayers, right? Stretch. And I try to do this daily, okay? So, prayers, stretch, have my coffee, right? Midday, say another prayer. At night, say some prayers. And then, uh, and I've been meaning to, like, implement some, uh, what's it called? Uh, like, some medit meditating in that. And then also, too, like... Just like maybe a little deeper, when it comes down to whenever I don't feel like doing something, I'll just kind of, if it's like something that I do on a, like let's say gym, right? I go for like an hour and a half, two hours, right? Let's say I'm really not feeling it, just going for 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Because what I've noticed is the consistency um, is, is sometimes it matters more than like the output. You get what I'm saying? Even if it's five minutes a day. No, know? for sure. Literally just yeah. touching it, just getting back on it yeah yeah that technique yeah like it's almost like um one thing that i'm learning as an adult is one of the most important things is momentum absolutely because whenever i got to start like fresh it's so hard to like get going you know and and then in that time like for me whether it's a couple days a week or two like i might get sidetracked in that time and then i'm fucking back to square one and i'm off my rituals i'm off my and so like um I just think that like momentum is really, really important as an adult because at the same time, like these rituals that you do daily are really who you are as a person. So like if you stop that, you don't really have an idea of like who you are. And this is just something that I've recently learned. And when you don't have like that idea of like who you really are and you're just kind of just floating and you're just like just doing whatever, um, it like your like the chemistry in your body doesn't work for you. It almost like works against you. And, uh, like, um, it's like your, your nervous system, you know what I mean? And, uh, I just think that like, I just think, you know, rituals are extremely important these days as an adult and, uh, especially healthy ones. That's why I'm wondering if, I think it's important to actually know your routine, you know, like, right. Cause, cause people have one and they don't really, Oh, I'm assuming right now. You're like, 
I, w- I don't even know if they even know their own routine. You know? Right, right. Like, yeah. I actually had to think about it real quick. So I was like, yeah, so when I wake up, what do I do? Like, mm. recently, since I moved to SD, right, I take my dog out on a walk every morning because mm-hmm. since we live in an apartment, I know she needs to get her energy out. Mm-hmm. So, like, I got her, like, a cool little vest, too, and I just loaded it up with, like, water to so add some weight, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, tire her out a little bit more like that. So yeah, I start off sure. my morning with a little walk. Nice. Then my walk, get back in. And uh, like you said about, like, meditating, mm-hmm. that's something I've been wanting to learn how to do mm-hmm. as well, but... I've been kind of supplementing, supplementing it with uh, stretching and just, like, doing some of my HIIT workouts, mm-hmm. you know, kettlebell workouts in the morning. Yeah. And then, like, I, then next thing you know, uh, do my work meetings. And the one thing I like about my job is I have a lot of leverage mm-hmm. with, like, scheduling meetings or, like, uh, working on certain projects. That's dope. Yeah, because I'm, I'm salary, so I'm not hourly, so I don't need to actually, like, be clocking in. So that's... I have, like, a lot of leverage on, like, okay, when I need to do stuff. Right, And right. since I set the interviews up, too, like, I kind of be like, hey, I don't want to wake up early today. You know, like, right, you know, right, right, you know, yeah. I know, you know, something like, we'll set up, you know, this meeting at 10, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, you know, kind of, sure. You know, whatever, you know, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is, like, it gives me, you know, that leverage. Like, hey, I have this time in the morning to do this thing I've want, been wanting to do. Mm-hmm. You know, it could either be gym or something like just meal prepping. and uh, Right, right. Something actually, like you said about, like, uh, routine. Uh, I actually started kind of going to a lot of festivals recently. Nice. And it's actually amazing. I feel like it yeah. recharges like my aura, you know, like about energy. I'm just in there just... It's, 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 it's funny dude. you mention that because I haven't been to one in a while. And then I went to Coachella. And when I got back, I was talking to Brittany. I'm like, I really feel bomb as fuck Hell after yeah. that. Like I almost needed it, you yeah. know, because when I came back, I felt great. Like I felt, like you said, recharged. So you're right. You know, and it's like I remember leading up to EDC. I was like fuck man you want to go to dc better fucking work my guy like you know you gotta, yeah. you gotta do this and that but gotta you know, earn you know, it gotta earn absolutely, it absolutely you know? yeah but the uh, you actually went to my first rave at the beginning of this year which was countdown i had a blast i was like you know what? i need to do nice. this again hell yeah went to beyond and then uh edc and then going to those uh, events uh i ended up buying myself a little, a little turntable you know and just like nice. hey, lately just to, like kind of past time you know just like you know, yeah. just get in there just mess around a little bit just mm-hmm. that's focus. healthy i mean i don't opinion. know how to play an instrument i don't know how to play an instrument so right, like, you know right. like i can turn these little tablet, that's a healthy you know? hobby bro hell yeah, yeah so especially like if it was inspired through hitting festivals like that's <laughs> yeah, tight especially because i'm just like yo that looks like dope you know right, like being out there right, just like controlling yeah. the party the same C- the vibe controlling like, the vibe and the crowd yeah, right that's yeah. hard no i feel you i mean i feel the same way about djing like when i watch it live it's, it's fucking dope. dope as fuck hell yeah that's cool bro hell yeah i mean and as i'm saying like that's that's a good way to keep you busy and you know what i mean like express yourself and shit like that you yeah know? definitely one way to express yourself you know just because sometimes i feel like i realize that it's like oh shit i'm playing this song a lot like why you know yeah yeah you know, yeah no shit i you feel know? it nice nice um uh you got any um you got any uh bachelor stories out there in sd anything interesting uh, i mean or, or 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 just any normal interesting stories since you've moved out there yeah, there's a lot. It's pretty, uh, there's well, a few. depends. Like, uh, yeah, I've just been having a good time, man. To yeah. the truth. You know, I don't know what That's to tell cool. you, you know, like, I mean, you there's just a lot of leverage. There. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. So, I mean, there's always people visiting, there's always something going on. Someone's always celebrating something. <laughs> and then, like, I live across the street from the convention center, too, essentially. So, there's oh. always people coming in, and it's just, it's just fun. There's also, like, just being able to network meet people and just now like, like when those conventions go down do you just hit them yeah might as well fuck Scratch it we're it here quick, yeah, yeah 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 that's like, tight and if it's some sort of science convention like oh for sure you know like <laughs> yeah you know, so, and, and, uh, some science chicks or something so like even like just there's always something going on and just <laughs> yeah. a lot of leverage too yeah 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 know? for sure for sure i mean living there right yeah like yeah. i don't know how deep to get into this too you know because just like I said, just kind of been just more focusing on me too, you know. And just yeah, like, yeah. I'm yeah. not really looking for stuff, but you know, mm-hmm. I'm not really opposed to things too, you know. Yeah, for yeah, sure. So. For sure. That's what's up, bro. That's yeah. cool. You want to talk about your survival's guilt? Uh, yeah, nah. for sure. I mean, kinda. Yeah, because I it mean, means is it like significant? Is it pretty? The reason why I say like survival's guilt, just because like, um, like from where I started to where I am now, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm living a life I'm not really supposed to be living like, yeah but at the same time it's like no i put in the work to get here yeah so yeah. it's like you know i, I kind of do deserve this yeah, for you, myself you but at the same time it. it's like i don't want to get comfortable here too you know because like yeah i still remember everything else that happened before i got here mm-hmm. so it's like i know i could easily get back here again you know but it's like i don't want to be back here anymore right i just right. want to keep pushing forward yeah and just keep that momentum going yeah no for sure it's like cool like finding people that are doing shit that they like 
because I gravitate towards that because that's like hell yeah Mm -hmm. like that inspires me to keep doing like my own things you know? right right one thing you mentioned is that you were uh the only an, an only child uh my own child as well so i don't know why i feel like i never knew that really yeah i don't know That's why funny. i feel like i never knew that and what's crazy is you told me that today i'm just like what the fuck and the reason why you're saying is because like you're saying some of the things that i say resonate with you as an only child right and i think that's interesting because like um like, do you also see, like, your friends as, like, brothers and shit like that? The way I see yeah. my friends and shit? You know what I mean? Like, uh, definitely. Especially like, well, like family, basically. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, I have, you know, friends I'll do, you know, they're my brothers. Yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm sure, I mean, you know, like, because the college, you know, fraternity stuff, There's a lot stuff, of experiences right? that we just kind of go through together and just, yeah. we experience things together and it's like, you know what, just just keep going through it yeah you know? i feel it i feel it nice bro that's what's yeah it's, up. A, it's actually really nice just actually you know like example like right now just having this conversation with mm-hmm. you and even like before we got on like the podcast like just chilling just talking like those are good conversations you know like i'm leaving this like hell yeah you know yeah my yeah. guy's doing his thing and shit yeah and hell I'm yeah. proud of him yeah same and with you bro and, and just you know keep doing it you know no always always you know we gotta chill too more dude i feel like i feel like we haven't that because you said last time you came to a super bowl party at my other house in la puente right, right. and then we went to a scott concert too that shit was tight at the oh uh, shit we did dope. yeah i had to leave early because i was working graveyard for the covid stuff oh, but that was already God. towards like the end of it you're yeah, like yeah, I'm, already, I'm going yeah i'm already leaving here you know yeah <laughs> That's cool, bro. Hell yeah. Well, I mean, it's been a sick ass catch up, really. Definitely, honestly, man. you know what I mean. Like, I think, uh, yeah, what was that like two years ago, maybe since we went to that skull show, you know? And then you're just doing your thing, bro. And uh, I know, I think when I remember when I saw it, I I commented on it. You know, that was cool as fuck that you were there. And uh, I mean, because like. I think sporadically you we you know call each other and shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Just like, check in real quick. Yeah, like yeah. where you at? Hard things, whatever. You know. So, uh, and, um, you know, I'm glad that, you know, I cherish a friendship like ours for sure. You know, I'm glad I was able to inspire you and like the same way, um, I inspire you, you inspire me, you know, um, because a lot of the things that you've been through, I didn't know about, you know, and, uh, and that's the thing, like everyone is probably going through something or has yeah. gone through something or will go through something. Right, right. So it's just a matter of just equipping yourself with the right tools, the right mindset and just know that yeah, you can get through it. Just yeah. not losing that faith. Mm-hmm. And, and so, I don't mean like faith just religiously, you know, just even faith in yourself. Right. And that's a right. big step, just having like faith in yourself to do it. Yeah. Because even just like I feel like I've done enough things now to know that the beginning of something is like the most like vulnerable stage. It's the hardest part, it's the right? the hardest part. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. once you get past that stage, it's like, all right. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I mean, though. And like, that's that's what I mean. Like that momentum. Once you get the momentum, bro, it's over. Yeah. You know. And so, and I'm I, flying. And that's the thing. Like, it's almost like that momentum is so important that I protect it so much, right? And so, what I mean by that too is like, like I can't have anything negative trying to slow it down. You know what I mean? Like, it's always trying to move into this because anything that slows it down if i have to start from zero again like i can't bro and even no, that's if- why it's good like us even checking each other too you know because like yeah. in a sense it's like we know what we want so it's like hey bro like what's up man like how you been but you right, know like- right it's just that connection yeah. there You're like we're on that same page no for sure and i'm just saying you know for people out there protect that momentum protect that energy you know what i mean if you're working towards something that shit's important you know because like you could be doing something and then your homies could be hating on you you're literally wasting energy on being upset that they're hating on your shit you're wasting energy explaining yourself that too you know just, that too yeah like, i feel like no one's gonna understand like once you're actually there right and then it's like right. you know like this is what i was talking about yeah this whole time yeah but yeah and um yeah i know i was gonna talk about cannabis right now but no you're absolutely right you're absolutely right like um yeah i agree i was just gonna say like it it kind of reminded me of the topic we're talking about off air as far as like the relationship with cannabis and uh i was just telling you that like um i don't know it's just um i think we were just assuming that like yeah never mind (laughs) (laughs) because i was gonna say like, I think we were just assuming, like, you know, our higher bosses, mine and yours, like, they probably smoke and shit like that. You know what yeah, I mean? It's, it's literally decriminalized at this point. At least here in California, for sure, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. I feel like they they, they, they might, you know, I don't yeah. know, but they're old heads, though. With even more reason. I mean, but there aren't they, like, stuck in their, like, my parents don't smoke. They're like, fuck all that. 
Oh, well, okay. When I was talking like uh, older, probably. Yeah, well, like, yeah. Like, like you know. Yeah. You know, like you're saying, like, like old men. Yeah. I don't like, know, dude. It's hard. it's far fetched for me. They might not. I don't know. All it I want. It depends. You know, just uh, we live. Yeah, we live in an interesting uh, state. You're right. Yeah. It's very progressive and weird as fuck. It's but all I was saying was, is like having that relationship with weed is like interesting because, like, I mean, it, but it does come down to self awareness, which most people aren't. You know, kind of in my opinion, that are like on, but like. I just think that like uh, creating that relationship with it is really like up to you that healthy relationship, I mean, and, and everybody's healthy relationship is different from another. You know what I mean? And uh, it it really has a lot to do with like your self awareness of who you are. And I think like are you actually using it for its like therapeutic value, or right. are you just abusing of it? Right. Exactly. You know, are you trying to cope with something else? Yeah. Without, exactly. Without putting in the work. And sometimes you know people are just fucking doing it, and they think that it's healthy, and you're just coping, right? And all I'm saying to and there's nothing wrong with it too, you know. Yeah. Like, you just kind of. I feel like people would just go through stuff at their own, you know, step, which is fine. Yeah, that's true. Just, that's you know, true. Just, just, you know. No, I get it. And I think, like, when it comes down to, like, the whole work ethic, as far as, like, what you're saying, like, you know, don't stop explaining yourself to people. Just do your own shit. Like, your, your uh, recipe for how you get there is probably going to be different than everybody else's. You know what I'm saying? And... uh you know, and I just think, just trust that. Like you said, have faith in yourself. You know what I mean? I don't yeah, know how I made people. that fucking connection, but whatever. No, nah, fuck yeah. Dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> what were you going to say? And like, don't be scared to meet people. Yeah, for like, sure. Like, don't be scared to go outside your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Like, don't be scared to go outside by yourself, but, you know, be cautious about it. You know, like, I feel see, like, I feel, I feel like I'm, I could say that because I'm a guy, you know? But at the same but time. At the same time, you know. But see, and that's the thing. I think. It might be a little biased, and here's why. You, by you saying it, because you were literally homeless. You know what I'm saying? So, like... I was also an only child, too. So, I feel like since a young age, I've been okay. comfortable being by myself. You've been comfortable or, or by like, yourself? Like, I grew to be comfortable same by myself. Same, though, but same here. Yeah. Same here. So, like... But all I mean, though, is, like... Like, uh, you're homeless, right? And it sucks. Because, let's say nobody knows, right? But you know. And for you, that sucks. Like, you don't want to be there, right? And that hurts you, too, you know? Because it's like, like, what the fuck am I doing, right? And so I've been at a low point like that, not homeless. But um, but what I'm saying, though, is, is like... Just like, any hey, dis- fuck the system, by the way, man. Like, there's no... I agree. No, you know, I agree. No, I yeah, agree with dude, you 100%. You know. But what I was going to say, though, is, is like, like, any discomfort in life is low-key better than that. If yeah. you stay there long enough, like any discomfort of getting out there, getting to know people, learning new things, uh, meeting women, you know, whatever, is always going to be better than this shit here. Because this shit's always going to be here. You can stay there for as long as you want, really. But, like, once you go through that, you're just like, I'm never going to fucking do this again, you know? Like, I'm, I'm really someone who, like, wants experiences. As That's well, the reason. on top of it, right. And, yeah. I, and and what's crazy, too, is, like, I I'm right there with you on that, like... Like, I was really hungry for that. It's, isn't that like, weird? Is that, like, an only child thing? I don't know. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you said some, you've said stuff that kind of resonated with me. I was like, yeah, I, I see that. Especially with, like, the whole, like, social cues and whatnot. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, because I feel like me as a child, I was very, like, sheltered, too. So, like, mm-hmm. it wasn't really until I kind of left to college. I was like, oh, shit. Like, this is yeah. how the world kind of works, you know? And, like, right. Did you have, like, you know, trouble adjusting to college life? I loved it, honestly. Like, even, like, that phase in my life like i said it's like probably some of the most beautiful memories of my life damn honestly like even though i was going through that shit like yeah. i was so determined I had like i had so much faith in myself like you mm-hmm. know i might get through this shit yeah and like honestly like when i graduated and i had like my fucking my uh cap and gown the, yeah. the, the dalai lama gave the commencement speech that was wild. That sounds insane. Yeah, I didn't even know who he was. <laughs> you know, I was, I'm about to say like, uh, who the fuck is that? Yeah, right? but, and I just kind of looked it up, but uh, apparently, like, uh, yeah, he was like kind of like a big deal. Like, because there was like a bunch of security around. I'll us. throw a picture up of him right here. And um, yeah, there's a bunch of security around campus because like he uh, sounds important. Yeah, like like, <laughs> like people wanted to assassinate him and whatnot. So like they had to make sure like security was like. <laughs> Top got notch, it, you got know? It, yeah. yeah. So it was, it was interesting, you know. I was like, "Hell yeah!" And yeah. then honestly, it just felt so good to like give like my parents a diploma. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like 
Like y'all yeah. literally did like this. this is like me here is for you, right? You know, and now I'm gonna do me now. Like yeah, so, you know, yeah, like, yeah. You, you know? I'm out, and you guys yeah. got your house later. You know, yeah, <laughs> that's tight, bro. That's yeah. Tight. Hey, I mean, for that too, you know, good shit, bro. Dude. I feel like you kind of influenced me a lot, but and like kind of, you know, making those moves. I'm glad, bro. I'm glad that yeah. I could do that. But at the end of the day, bro, you did the shit. You know what I mean? And um, so I commend you for that. You know, and and yeah. shit like. And, and look, we're going to have our ups and downs, you know. Ideally, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm working on it as we speak. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm trying to get – I'm literally studying for certification right now, you know. Oh, yeah. And and that's really I, – I was just – and I, had, I was going back to what I was going to say when I was saying it. I think you're a little biased because when you're homeless and, you know, you're going through all this hard shit, like, like – any discomfort is better than that. But see, I think anybody can use that, you know, like whatever discomfortable life. They could even just be in that fucking little terrible life that they're in, which is just like these terrible rituals of like hanging out with shitty people, going out and drinking and fucking trying who to knows what people. else. Yeah, trying to impress people, trying to chase girls at the fucking bar who yeah. you're probably overly qualified for and they're just fucking burning you. You know what I mean? Like like just being sick of that. You could be sick of that. And like be trying like, to mold yourself to something you're really not. Right. And yeah. and if like, you know, you don't really have to be homeless to say like, yo, my life kind of sucks. Maybe I should do something about it. You know what yeah. I mean? I mean, because it's like, is the discomfort really work better than this fucking shit? I mean, some people it might might be some people it might, but it might. But like all I was going to say, though, was like um, I lost my train of thought. No, but, but like like uh, like it's kind of hard for me to say like like I was homeless, but I didn't really feel I never felt homeless. Right. Because I always knew I could go back home. You know, mm, okay. So, so it's saying, like, yeah. it's you just like wanted to just... I have a car. I'm. A f- I have somewhere to sleep. Yeah, I gotta go to class tomorrow. Gotta fucking See, turn in this lab report. But it goes I back to final. It, but it I goes go to work. You yeah, know, it's, it was rough, bro. But see, but at the same time, it always goes back to like living the like wanting to live those experiences because like I remember there was a time where like I was living in a fuck. I was living in a room in Corona, right? Um, I was trying to, I was literally in pursuit of my happiness. And so I was trying to like change things around, right? So I changed my cost of living so that maybe I can enjoy some life, right? Maybe that's what I really want or not, right? So I did that. And I remember like at the time work was so slow, I had like no money. And uh, it was probably like the beginning of the week. All I had was top ramen and low key. I never knew that I was going to get to that point in my life where it was just that low where like i was just unstable and like a lot of things because one thing i've learned is like whenever i move to a new place it doesn't really matter how familiar i am with it like i have to adjust to that environment my rituals can be the same but if i'm not adjusted to that environment it doesn't feel right you know and almost what you mean you know what i mean and so like when i was uh living there I didn't even live there long enough to adjust to it. And then on top of that, uh, I had like a really bad month and I was like on my couch, on my bed, because it was literally like the size of my bed, basically the fucking the damn, you know, room. I was just like watching TV, eating top ramen, not being able to go anywhere because I only had enough for gas. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing? You know what I mean? And like, um, um, I forgot what we were talking about. Just putting in that work, baby. You know? So yeah, no, and, yeah. and and it drove me though. It drove yeah. me like right in that moment. I'm like, all right, I'm getting a certification right now. I'm gonna get one, and I did. I right. studied for it. I knocked it out, and it helped me for sure. I got more work, and shit worked out. And 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 look, I kind of hit a wall now, and I'm ready to. In my last episode, I was talking about how I was, you know going around, inter- you know, looking, trying to get interviews for different companies and things like that. And uh, now I'm just working on certifications now, you know, like I'm doing what it, what you need to do to get out of whatever you don't like, you know, and that's just really what it takes. It's that simple. It's not, it, it, it's, it's that simple, but it's not, you know, because, and I'll, and I'll be the first to say like, you know, my immediate circle has felt my anxiousness. My immediate circle has felt my fear, my anger in trying to like get back into studying and shit like that because like I hate it, you know, but yeah. I know it's what I need to do, you know what I mean? None of us like to study, bro. bro. Like, I find that shit interesting, I, you know? But I just knew that there was value to I don't think so. It, I, think, I, think, I think some people like it less than others because some people are better at it than others. 
Well, I, I look at my roommate, and that fool, his brain's a sponge, so I, I don't know, that fool trips <laughs> you, me out. You got the next Elon Musk in your Basically, shit, Basically, bro, yeah. But that's, you know, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I think studying for him is, like, not even a chore. It's just like a, yeah, yeah let just, me just knock it out. Let true. me just scan this page real quick, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just saying, like, there's no easy way around it, there bro. Is. You got to go through the bullshit, and if you got to go through the motions and cry about it, then do it, because that's what I do. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> this, lay it out. This shit ain't easy, bro. It's, yeah. it's ass, you know? So, but... It's, Especially when you're trying to do something that no one in your family's done too. Yeah. You know, because like you have to go look f- for someone to guide you essentially. Yeah. Or if not, you become your own mentor. Right, right. And like no. something that, I, you know, I take, uh, that I actually like seeing, observing, and even partaking in is like that whole mentor mentee relationship. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, you know, I'm visiting my parents, uh, it was 4th of July over the weekend, and I actually haven't left yet. Mm-hmm. I've just been kicking it with them, honestly. It's been dope. Just this week? Like, yeah, yeah, just kicking it with them. Nice. You know, making food with them. I mean, since I live by myself now, like, I've been, like, cooking on my own. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, hey, Emma, como se salsa, you know? Just, like, you know, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. You know, learning the recipe here, too, you know? So I want to go back. Hard. You know, fucking add more flavor, you know? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, for sure, for you know? sure. And, uh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just been nice just being able to spend that quality time with them. And it's like, you know, just, like I said, also, I like being able to work from home because... Mm-hmm. I could just work for my parents, you know, place too. They have internet, just set up my, you know, laptop and just kick it with them too. You know? Yeah, so it's, it's yeah. Nice. yeah, no, for sure. I mean, and that was the thing too, like, yeah. you're just chilling for the week, right? Oh, yeah, you, oh, you, 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 like, could, you work from home, so you could stay. You know yeah, I, mean? I just so. need internet. <laughs> you know, that's literally it. And yeah, even then yeah. I can just make a hot little hotspot with my phone. Nice. And just problem solved. Done. Nice, yeah. bro. Hell yeah. yeah that's you, hard, this, I've been taking, like, a, these trips recently and... What I like about it, I don't even, like, request time off. You know, just to make sure, the, you know, there's internet around me and then we're solid. Wow. You know, that's... So that's what I'm saying. I feel like, you know, kind of like the survival skill and also blessed at the same time. Yeah, it's like, yeah. You know, can't believe I'm, this is my life right now. Now, do you let that shit get in the way of you enjoying your blessings? Uh, it's weird. The, the, the survivor's guilt. Yeah. And, uh, well, I've learned that like, that's what I was experiencing. You know, oh, so just now it's like, oh, okay, you know, like it's okay to go do that now. You yeah, know? Like, you so after you've identified it, now you're kind of like, okay to like, oh, well, you that's... Put, I put in the work for this. Like, yeah. this is why I missed out on all those things before. Right. You know, this right. is why, you know, people wouldn't see me here, they wouldn't see me there. I was, you know, yeah, doing this or I was doing that. So I could just, you know, put myself where I am today. Mm-hmm. Because you know, going back to it, you know, coming from like a immigrant background, being like, first generation like Mm -hmm. it's like okay so i'm learning all these things now and it's like damn i wish i would have learned before but it's okay i know it now yeah and it's like if and when i have kids it's like all right i can like teach them everything i know now it's Mm -hmm. like cool so at least they have those tools to do what they want to do yeah you know like if they want to go to college you go to college you know Mm -hmm. they got they don't want to go to college it's fine like what really matters is like them being able to like to be happy yeah yeah and yeah, yeah. Even being happy like what does happiness even mean you know so it's well, just a lot of self-awareness what do you think so actually like, going back to it, like the first time i heard this was uh through my roommate and uh, he told me it was actually a philosopher that said it i forgot which one it is but um i remember it's basically the difference between plants and humans is that humans can water themselves mm-hmm. meaning that you know that investment that investment in ourselves like you can literally pour the water on yourself meaning you know what you need to do right right and we all do, do. we all I do know, just, we all yeah. really know right you yeah because if you tell anybody like oh you're a savage like they, they know it but yeah. it's like so no one needs to tell you this yeah you know are you happy yeah, yeah. well I've learned to be happy essentially Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I'm happy as fuck, dude. I don't know. I'm always smiling and shit because fucking I'm having a good ass time. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like, I put in that work too. Is like, okay, like, how do I feel? Like how you said, like, you do your prayers in the morning. I feel right. like I do my reflections, like prayers at night. Right. Because I'm like, okay, like, what happened today? Yeah. What did yeah. I do today? Well, like, I was gonna say. I mean, do you listen to music or anything when you walk your dog, or is it oh, yeah. silent? Sometimes I it varies. Sometimes the uh, music, yeah, uh, or podcast, or just uh, so just something, yeah. Or if not even for work, um, constantly having to learn new things. So Got it, yeah. Just throwing like a quick lecture or something and just, you know, keep at it. I was going to say, uh, do you go to therapy? Have um, you 
No, but it's something I've kind of been like thinking about too. Yeah. But it's kind of like, I don't know, I just haven't made that commitment. At the same time, I feel like I have a lot of like outlets too, though. So to a point where it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this kind of is like my therapy. Like, you know, like, like who? The, like your friends, your homies? Like, uh, like Close I said, like people. the DJ set I just got right now. Like, oh, I've been, like, just, I see. That's like you're messing around with sesh. it, or you're just going to the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for then sure. just you know, even talking to friends. You know, yeah, just, yeah. Just uh, learning, yeah, how to express myself essentially. Mm-hmm. And if I'm riding it, if I'm in, a, if I'm in an emotion, I just realize I just have to kind of ride that emotion out of it. You know, right, it's like, right. All right, it's cool. Like that whole self awareness. Okay, this is where I'm now. Like, how mm-hmm. can I get myself out of it? Right. I know I like this over here. I'm going to do this, you know? And right. You know, right. sometimes even, like, the music itself, like, that BPM will get you kind of getting back into it, get you grooving. Right. So it's like, right. yeah, that's what I kind of like a lot of, like, EDM, house, techno music, mm-hmm. just because of that beat. It's a beat, yeah. I like, I, and, like, also, like, since there's no lyrics to it, it makes me kind of, like, create paint your own this picture story. in my mind. I feel you saying you know? here. That's, so, I get you on that, yeah. So that's really why I like that mm-hmm. kind of style of music, because, like, hell yeah. That's tight, bro. And so, like, so, um, you know, um, like, you know, I've, I've had, I've seen a lot of instances. Like, I, I saw like this, uh, this uh, speech, this graduation speech one time, and it was about um, this kid. He was talking. I mean, I'm sure people have probably seen it. It seemed like it was a pretty, like, uh, like, uh, like a popular one, you know. And uh, he was talking about how, like, uh, he put everything to the side, all his relationships, um, everything that's important in life, like, to the side for, like, these grades and this degree and shit, right? And um, he was saying that, like, it didn't even, it's like, he's like, I'm standing up here right now. And, like, I know that, like, when I leave, I'll be high for, like, you know, maybe an hour or two, maybe the rest of the day. But, like, the next day, like... You know, yeah, now what, you know, and so I'm curious because um, in a lot of ways, I think you're you're ahead for your age. Right. And I mean, especially a lot of ways, uh, you know, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially ahead ahead than most people at our age. Right. And so I'm just curious to know, did you ever run into like emotions like that where you got to these accolades and uh, it really wasn't what you thought it would be? Or, um, and like you kind of had to find that real happiness, right? Or that real true uh, sense of, I guess, happiness or, or was it everything you thought? And like, did you just ride that wave of like positive vibes and energy of like these positive accolades that you like, uh, that you accomplished? That's an interesting question. Cause there's a, I mean, I feel like there's this big, you know, misconception essentially that oh if you have a degree you're gonna make money right away right right you know and like um i feel like if you are gonna go to college like choose a degree that you really want to learn mm-hmm. like don't go to college just go to college mm-hmm. you know like go there because you want to go to school right you know or else you're just wasting time doing something else you really want to be doing yeah you know like there's many ways to make money like mm-hmm. money isn't even real like right. i value more than money is time right because that's, that's something i'm never gonna get back right so it's like you know i've i feel like that whole money thing also comes with the value of like also valuing yourself like mm-hmm. what kind of life do you want for yourself mm-hmm. so uh going back to the whole college thing like degree kind of accolades you're saying yeah or even just the you know like not even so much as that, like the accolade of like handing the degree to your mom, right? Oh, okay. The other accolade of, you know, buying your first property, buying your second property, right? Putting your parents in one of those properties, right? That's one of them. And then another one too, you know, uh, moving to San Diego with like your best buds and shit, you know? Um, you know, walking your dog in a place that, you know, like, you know, maybe you never thought you'd be like... Um, what I'm saying is, is like, yeah, like, like those things, not even so, like I said, not even so much as the degree It's more about like the accomplishment, like after accomplishing it, like, did you feel, uh, feels beautiful. Yeah. It feels beautiful. Cause and, to me it's like, I remember those moments in my car. Yeah. I remember those moments like, fuck dude, like, yeah, I already knew every like sub of the day. So there was like some meaning <laughs> yeah. behind it as yeah. to, you know, to the accomplishment. And that's what I'm saying. Like that whole survivor's guilt. It's like, oh damn, like, yeah. Like, I have a, my job, like, just expense, like, this steak and wine dinner for me. Mm-hmm. Like, right, right. When I used to eat, like, top ramen. Or, yeah. 
essentially like have to like get a subway like a five dollar subway mm-hmm. eat half of it in the morning and then half before you know going to bed you know right just, right and i think i even have a fridge you know so i just throw in my backpack you know fuck it it's all soggy right and, you know, just you know just like little moments like that and it's like yeah it, but you know i always had a mission i think that's what's really got me through it mm-hmm. you know i was like i wasn't homeless or like living in my car because i didn't like it was by choice essentially oh right you know right. because like I wanted the degree, even though, like, you know, I kind of ran out of financial aid, scholarship, money, whatnot. Mm-hmm. Uh, I knew what I wanted. And I was like, I'm not going to let, you know, this barrier stop me from it. I'm yeah. gonna, how can I, like, maneuver my way around it? Mm-hmm. It's like, I just need somewhere to sleep. Yeah. I need some food in my system. I mean, yeah. I had a job, too, like, but, like, you know, textbooks are expensive. Lab right. manuals are expensive. Yep, yep. Lab years expensive. Mm-hmm. You know, even tutoring's expensive too. You know, like yeah, yeah. all that stuff adds up. Yeah, and it's like I was just like, right, this is investing myself. Some investment. Stuff. Yeah, you know, it's like, and I would think about my parents. Like, yo, they came here not knowing anything, mm-hmm. and they've been able to give me like the life that I have now. Right. Like, what can I say to my kids in the future that I did for them? Right. Right. You know. Yeah. So it's for kinda, sure. It's interesting. So like, it, it really goes down to like. um it's it's like it's almost like being able to meet those expectations that your parents had for you right and also even just having like a good quality of life because life wasn't always like that right yeah and so like whatever you have now it's almost like you're just trying to you know not only make your parents proud but be comfortable and now it just seems like you're more than comfortable yeah and i'm just kind of going now i want to be uncomfortable you know like yeah 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 so, to continue to progress in life right yeah do you have any expectations in life in what sense like like uh for the future of like maybe how you want it to look i know i want to be comfortable you know? yeah, like, yeah yeah like yeah in the sense that i'm have not options. comfortable now you know yeah absolutely just have the options mm-hmm. and just be happy essentially just chase that feeling of like okay this is where i feel good mm-hmm. right like why am i be doing those here if like if it treats me like shit right you know, like, right so just might as well be somewhere where you feel comfortable and you're not comfortable where you can feel uncomfortable but comfortable at the same time mm-hmm. like it's like this growth thing where it's like yeah yeah just i get stay that. hungry i don't know just stay hungry yeah. just me other people are hungry too yeah for sure learn from people you know yeah y'all make mistakes too you know like yeah I've, shit hasn't always been easy yeah you know so fucking being real with yourself mm-hmm. if you mess up just okay just yeah own up to it yeah you know, just how yeah. you keep making moves yeah because like the way i see yeah and i agree with you and like because i guess my definition of like happiness would be like a good quality of a life that's mine right and it's like the good quality of life has a lot to do with my daily rituals, right? And the people I spend time with, the people I share conversations with, the people I share knowledge with, and that, you know, vice versa. And, um, and like the leisure, leisure is important, right? And, uh, so, and who I spend my time, you know, with like my leisure time. And, uh, and it's like, it's like all that. And then, um, it's like, I'm trying to do all that forever, right? And then like, make money so that i can do all that with the people i love like in the most dopest scenery possible and best environments possible having options to do dinner in the insanest places you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah that generational wealth is my goal i right. want to be the one that starts that train yeah that same momentum, here yeah. you know yeah for sure and like um so i just think that like uh it's like and in in like a, it's probably different for everybody you know what i mean and for me it's like uh cuz i'm always thinking on a you know hourly like checking in all the time like what am i doing next or like uh do i need to work on this or like is my mo- my momentum enough here in this part of my life or whatever you know and it's always just like me just checking on all the different important parts of my life and making sure they're up to par and if they are i'm happy as fuck you know what i mean and then i get to enjoy the leisure part of whatever the fuck i'm doing yeah, you know the leisure part like that time essentially mhm cuz uh I absolutely agree yeah <laughs> like said, yeah yeah because <laughs> like okay you said like my expectations for the future like i want to have time mm-hmm. i feel like i've already spent a lot of time mm-hmm. trying to get things done you know and i want to get to a point where like i have the time to like do what i want to do all day yeah no matter I the day you, you know just I like you. okay i'm doing this because i want to do it all mm-hmm. right i'm gonna do this now do that and it's like I don't, like, really consider myself to just be just one thing, you mm-hmm. know? Like, yeah. Like, 
have a degree, but I don't just consider myself like this. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, so you, yeah, I don't so, even consider myself like one certain thing. Like, yeah, I just want to know how stuff works and just, mm-hmm. just want to do it. You know, like yeah. it's fun. Like, fuck, you yeah. know, like even just using like a camera or something. Just yeah. It's nice. That's cool. Yeah. That's, I mean, yeah, it leaves you open to just different shit, different experiences, right? Hell yeah. Yeah. That's what's up, dude. I mean, that's a good thing. I mean, and that's a good way to like, I guess it kind of seems like that's where you're aiming for now, right? You're kind of just working to do what you want to do now. Do kind of maybe even find out what you like to do more now, right? Yeah. That's cool, bro. That's yeah. what I like about like my job now. Like, you know, it gives me an opportunity to like mm-hmm. actually invest in myself now yeah you know yeah discover yourself do all that yeah invest in myself you know like i see my job as a whale so just leveraging myself even fo- like more forward mm-hmm. yeah just forward i get it <laughs> yeah. no no i get it bro hell yeah no for sure for sure dude but um dude it was a pleasure honestly for having you on uh definitely gonna have you back uh it was a nice catching up with you it was a great conversation um i think like uh also too um next time we you know have you back you know we'll probably it'll be more topic based you know what i mean i think it's just more of a little introduction too you know yeah no yeah, so, yeah exactly yeah. and like who you are just and that's, catching up you know we haven't really seen each other in a while so yeah now that we're you know back on you know page like yeah yeah and maybe even yeah. spending more time together so people see you more in videos or whatever it's like they know who you are you know, you know what i'm saying come out of you know downtown san diego <laughs> yeah bro yeah shoot shoot some vlogs out there see you what know? the fuck we can get into over there yeah it's a good time man yeah no matter the day of the week you know what do you want you go out okay margarita monday <laughs> taco tuesdays <laughs> wing wednesdays thirsty thursdays the onyx hip- fridays Damn. full party saturdays jesus you man. know r&b <laughs> sundays god damn just say what day you want there's a day whatever yeah, there's something matter. every day right absolutely that's what's up bro hell yeah yeah i i would i mean i yeah i don't doubt that the hipsters out there got something every day of the week you know, oh yeah they, yeah you know, those something. rich hipsters motherfuckers that's there's something else huh <laughs> there's something else i believe it they actually just opened up this bar like a tequila bar yeah it's fucking delicious bro like the drinks they make out there yeah. like fucking mezcal and just it's crazy man like almost everything out there is amazing like because i used yeah. to work out like my main office used to be out there like i used to go get like bagels amazing Bag- <laughs> yeah you know it's like amazing, yeah, just a bagel you know bro? Yeah. like like they don't have the bagel stores out there anywhere else you know what i mean i used to like talk so much shit and i was like bro just fucking make that <laughs> shit at home you know and i was like bro those, it's they different. Slap different they yeah. put heroin in whatever the fuck they're <laughs> doing over there bro they put and the right amount of something right yeah. something yeah. jesus christ but uh all right big dog again thank right, you guy. so much dude i really me. appreciate everything uh your friendship uh your 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 advice your feedback you know i respect you as a person as a friend and uh i wish you nothing but you know uh good vibes success in your future and your family and uh we'll see you next time bro Thank you, Robert. Appreciate it, my guy. Yeah, bro. Anytime. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you guys made it this far, I really appreciate you. Could you guys please like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Mm-hmm.